Well, this is a new experience. We've had so much water this year. Uh, flying's been, well, it's been off. So today's nice sunny day. Clouds are out and uh, gonna meet Bing and head off to Caban. So the Bing Mobile is here. Where is Bing? There's the Zen man himself. Namaste. Namaste. Spring is here. Yeah. So if you look at there, Bing's noticed a buzzard. It was uh, thermal in a moment ago, going around in circles, off on a glide. Uh, shame Glenn can't be here and all the gang. Dave is at work, but never mind. If we're lucky, we can do that today. Namaste. Is this a 6.1 with a carbon fibre roof? New carbon, van? Carbon fibre. Wow. Aerodynamic. Du aerodynamic with double bed in the top. There's a mattress up there. Don't have, even know. have you still got the diesel heater? Uh, diesel heater, yeah. Diesel I'm heater. Thermostat this time. Smell the seats. Smell wow. The seats. Fresh from my beers. We haven't been down this room for a long time. Yeah, Glenn. Bing's got a T6 van. New, nice. I if the flying site would be underwater now. Very nice. So apparently, yeah, we can see one paraglider going around right-hand turn out front. So, Bing, the, the sky is uh, to the left, there's clouds, and to the right is blue. The paraglider on the so, side. Right. So there's, there's one out the front, is there? Yeah. So we, this might be like... Oh, good, okay. Apparently there's two gliders out to the right, way out, and there's one up there. So there's another one up there, two out front. So the low down is working it. Yeah, there's a few on top. And as usual, thermals are out front. You've got to go out front, Bing. Clouds to the left, blue to the right. Is there a sea breeze coming through? I don't know, we'll have to check all of this. It's only March. But the sun's out, which will give us convection. Yeah? The sea's cold. See, uh, no, there's a lot of people swimming today in Brighton. Oh, it's my new home, Bing. Beautiful place in Glyne. Ford's Cottage. Ford's Cottage, look at the flowers. Oh, spring is here, it's beautiful. Boys, where are oh. you? I told you it was gonna be on. God, they just don't listen to me. They don't you, listen to me. You gotta run the school, Bing. I mean, I'm just gonna sunbathe if there's no thermals coming through. Always a lazy day for the sheep. And flying is on, Bing. Yeah. Going up. Going up. Could happen. Let's get out there and see what happens, eh? Hi guys, we're at Caburn. Yeah, it's on. Uh, fourth climb we've seen today. So come down if you can. Bing's asked a relative question. Those people thermal in there a few months ago, they were here. How long do they keep going? Well, my assessment is the wind is very light. You can choose to go in any direction you like. And I would definitely have had a flight plan if you're going up. Because they could probably go to cl that cloud there, say. And they won't be too far over the back. They could go inland, but airspace drops. They could, wind's not high. You could even choose to go Devil's Diet, Eastbourne, those directions. You could push out to some water. I've done it before. There's a water turret thing out there in the distance at Westfield. Fly around there, come back here. And the options are down to your flight planning. Because they may well be going around in circles saying, I wonder which way to go. What do you think, boys? So I was girls. a bit of a whim because I was going to push back to the hill and go up. No, 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 that's fine. You could push. But that was my flight plan. <laughs> you, you, you could, that's fine. You, look, the smoke out there shows no wind, no drift. You could push out to fell. Whereas if there was more wind, then you might You could. To... But, well, on a day like today, I, I, if you flew from here, say, to New Haven Beach, I don't think anyone's ever done it. You'd be the first to do it. So it's not always about distance, is it? Right. Just go and get an aeroplane with an engine then. <laughs> so... Their decision making up there, well, one's going for it. He's on a glide, I suspect, so the thermal might be topping out. As it gets higher, it will get it will widen and then get less energy. And the temperature changes today are very limited. Besides, we are in t-shirts in March and cooking. So a lot of the areas to think about being is you get your thermal from your hill, push out front, you get your height, climb to an altitude you feels good. If it's a windy day, you'll get blown over the back with a the thermal, so you've got to push out more. Yeah. But at some point, 
We've got to leave that thermal and head off on a journey. Try and link it to next time. Yeah, and it's very easy to find the first thermal, go back to the ridge, but once you leave the ridge... I thought that was quite hard. Well, no, it's quite easy. It's getting the next thermal and doing the right thing with it. Because yeah. generally you could be on your own. So sometimes you just have to believe in yourself. Look at the topography of the gland, see where there's a little slope anywhere that might trigger off. Because yeah. you could land as the thermal goes off. Go, I've mistimed it. So I have got these glasses you can buy and they show you where the thermals are. But they're expensive. Oh, they're very expensive. Yes, but I'll, I'll get a pair for they're, you. They're Robles. Robles. Not Oakley's, Robles. <laughs> Oakley's. You know, I have arrived. The people are just scratching there. Yeah, that's right. The others were too scared to go. They said. So one over there, two that way, heading towards Eastbourne. So it's all about making a decision. At worst, you can walk back. You're a fit guy anyway. We could fly off somewhere, land, and you could run back and get the van. Or if you trust me, I'll go and get it. And his little thermal gone it. Phil, where is he? No, he's over there. Sorry, he's on that red glider. You're not in the air. Anyway, um, Bing, you had to do emails. Clouds have been pushed back. Most of the convection came in with a east over there and a west, southwest there, converged in the middle. Still not over yet. Um, and those people were taking that convergence, all three of them and gone. So, we've got the whole site to ourselves on a positive. Uh, two paragliders are way off in the distance down there towards Eastbourne. Um, yeah, it could be a nice, pleasant day. Rewarding, hopefully. Yeah, but you're going away from it, though, Bing, if you're going over there. It's all right if you do, it's just you'll run out of manoeuvrability. I can hear the bird from here going, yeah, yeah. And right above Bing, at 900 feet, there is a bird up there. But he has caught something here. You probably can feel that, can't you, Bing? So you can be careful if you're 360. That's it if you do. It's all right. Go on, go for it. Obviously, if we don't climb, be careful. If you maintain height, it's all right. I've got the sun in my eyes, so I can see very little. I can hear the bird talking to the other bird going, bee, bee. and special attention, if you were in a pod harness, you'd have your feet out by now. You don't have a pod harness, so you've only got to drop your feet in preparation for landing. I landed in the car park to avoid water. You can land here, but don't overshoot and go into the brambles. He's doing that naughty UK thing, left, right, left, right, left, right, burn my height off. Dennis won't like that. So Bing will be with Dennis Trot at the weekend in the Alps, and you're supposed to glide into the landing. The UK pilot's always doing this. That's a downwind beat there, obviously. Into wind, please. Turn right into wind. Good, Bing. Thank you. We'll avoid doing left and right turns in the Alps next week, okay? Yeah. Coming on a straight glide plan. Flight plan, sorry. What was that? Spring has sprung. Spring has sprung. You were saying you love this time of year. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? The air feels good. Lovely day it's been.